Hey guys, happy Thursday. Um, I'm Zach, and this week's topic is coming out. Um, so, I, I've had a very long, drawn-out coming out process. Um, started when I was about thir thirteen or so. Um, a lot of my friends uh, make fun of me calling me a 12-step gay because I came out as basically everything in the book. <clears throat> um, when, I, when I was 13, I uh, came out as, as bi and then just kind of drifted without even really coming out. As, um, I just kind of drifted into um, being seen as a lesbian, which that's just kind of what I defaulted to. I was just like, eh, I like girls, so... I don't even know what else I can classify myself as. Um, but that didn't really last long because I soon, I didn't really uh, associate myself with the term lesbian. Um, and that kind of was weird for me because I was just like, well, I like girls and I'm a girl, I think. So what am I? Um, and that's about when I started getting uh, really confused. And it's also when I started going to um, my LGBT group, which is fantastic. Um, and I met a couple of uh, trans guys there at the group. And they just kind of, they didn't directly do anything, but meeting them made me understand that there is something else out there other than just sexual orientation that I could theoretically explore. I'd always been very uncomfortable with my body. I attributed that to puberty. Um, and that's about when I started realizing, oh wait, wrong pronouns! So I, I first came out at my LGBT group. Um, and obviously that was totally fine. They, I didn't really go by she there for more than like three, four weeks. So it was easy for everyone to switch that. Um, I went by Andy then. And so I just changed Andy, my pronouns are she, to Andy, my pronouns are he. Um, and I also kind of started to delicately come out to some people at school, but throughout most of ninth grade, I was, I, I just did not feel like it. That That's what it came down to. I didn't have it firmly set enough for me to um, start coming out to people. Um, and then I, I was kind of outed when I was in ninth grade, like end of ninth grade, I think when um, I just got my first binder from my friend who is amazing and he gave me his old binder and I was wearing it and my mom was sitting actually literally right next to me um, where I am right now and I was on the computer and she um, she was looking at me talking to me and she stopped mid-sentence and was just like and then looked down at my chest and I was just like uh oh she found out about that because at this point I'd only had the binder for about a week and I'd been putting it on very discreetly um, behind my desk. Like when she was in the other room, I would duck back into a little corner, shove on my binder and then just throw on my shirt. Just like, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that kind of outed me. So she pulled me into my room and we talked about that and that, that went okay. Um, I've since had to come out to her like, three times as the same thing. Um, but I don't even want to go into that. That's just a whole big thing that makes me really frustrated. Um, so starting in 10th uh, grade, I started binding my chest to school um, all the time. And I came out to my dad like a week later after my whole outing incident. And I started coming out to more and more people in, um, in 10th grade. And by then, most people knew. Um, 
Um, but not everyone used the proper pronouns for me. It wasn't until 11th grade, which was last year, where I really started to push the pronoun thing. Um, I would, if someone called me she, I would, I would wait for them to finish. I'd say, um, just so you know, my, I'm a he, I'm, I'm not a, a she. And usually they'll say, oh, sorry, didn't know. And that's the thing. I come out, I've come out to so many people. Sometimes I forget who I told, who I didn't. So I'm pretty lenient because I just look at you like, did I tell you? Did I not? I haven't really talked to you since like eighth grade. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty lenient, but everyone I know now, um, knows that I'm, he, even some call me Zach, but most still call me Andy, just cause a lot of people I know have known me since eighth grade or ninth grade when I still used Andy. Um, and then my major coming out started in 10th uh, grade or 11th grade, I'm sorry, 11th grade when I started coming out to my teachers. I, with the help of my sister, wrote a letter which I gave to all of my teachers first, first or second day of school and they all took it totally well. They were, they were fine with it. Um, they, um, yeah, they just, I go, they just, I, I go to a really accepting school so they just really had no problem with it. Uh, they sometimes slipped up, but who can blame them? They have hundreds of kids that they have to just remember the names of, uh, let alone the proper pronouns. And they always called me Andy, which was good. Um, <clears throat> so I didn't really press it with my teachers because I didn't want to give them a hard time because um, I actually want to pass school. <laughs> um, also in 11th grade, I started co coming out to um, my parents and my immediate family, which was um, really only my grandma, actually. Now that I think about, about it, I never came out to my aunt or my uncle. Um, they may or may not know, though. Maybe, I don't know. But um, my, um, my dad is fantastic about it, which is really weird because his memory isn't terribly good. Um, he'll, he'll, he just forgets things really easily. And yet he's the only one in my family who actually calls me he, and he even sometimes calls me Zach, which is fantastic. And my mom never does. She calls me, um, she calls me Andy. She re refers to me as if I were a girl, um, as does my, uh, my grandma. And, um, excuse me while I digress slight bit, but I kind of want to tell a funny story about my coming out to my grandmother. Um, now when people usually say I came out to my grandmother, everyone's just like, Ooh, old woman, not good. No, my grandma is, uh, 59 this year. Yeah. 59. She's young and she, uh, she, she knows about this kind of stuff. Um, I don't think she's ever really met and had the chance to talk to someone who is trans, but she knows about um, this kind of stuff. She's very accepting and we were talking about it. She was, she's a nurse. So she was asking me questions more on the medical side of things, like how far I, w I wanted to go in transition. Um, etc. Actually, um, anyway, the question that just stopped me in my tracks and it was just the ultimate facepalm incident. Completely seriously, she looked at me and she said, after I said that I was definitely, um, I definitely wanted, um, bottom surgery. She looked at me and she said, well, have you ever seen a, a penis? And I, I think I said yes, because I'd obviously taken health. Um, and I mean, really, what 15 year old doesn't know what a penis looks like, man or woman? It's like, it's just one of those things you learn by the time you enter high school. Um, but she said, well, I've ever handled one because I mean, how do you know you want it if you've, if you've never, uh, if you've never seen one, you could, you should probably, um, like arrange with someone to handle one. And I was just like, what? Like, what kind of grandmother suggests that to a 15 year old? 
Go handle someone's penis! I didn't know what to say about that. I I actually don't even think I said anything. I my reaction in in my mind was probably something like that. But in real life I was probably just sitting there like Uh, it, yeah, that, that was just weird. Like, who, who recommends that, honestly? And how, and the thing that popped into my mind first was, how do you arrange that kind of thing? Do you just go up to, like, your best guy friend? Like, hey, tonight, at, um, tonight, around nine-ish, mind if I come over and look at your penis? My grandma, my grandma told me to. There's no way to get around that sounding really, really awful. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway. So, I was completely out to everyone. Except for my giant family on my mom's dad's side of the family. Um, I never saw them except at, like, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Easter. So, obviously I wasn't about to arrange something to get all, like, 40 people there just to come out with them. So, to come out to them so I just I'm kind of working on it slowly because like I said there's a lot of them and it's probably going to be a very tedious process but hopefully they'll all be the gossips that they are and tell everyone about it um but I um had to go back in the closet which was extremely uncomfortable when we went to Hungary um, in June. They aren't terribly accepting. It's an ex-communist nation. They've only been really um, they've only really been able to see the world for 20 or so years. So they're not terribly in tune with these kinds of things. They're just barely getting their feet on the ground. Um, so I had to go completely back into the closet. The only person I told was um, my form teacher, who she was she was totally fine with it. Um, she she was very knowledgeable about that that kind of stuff, which surprised me. Um, but to everyone else, I was just Andy, that American girl, which this made me made me kind of really uncomfortable, and I just. I just kind of hit my tongue, just like, mm, don't say anything, don't say anything. But finally, I felt so much better coming back here because I could finally be the gay freak I am. Which, as, as probably anyone who has had to stay, or worse, go back into the closet, it, it feels really good to finally be able to just break free of that and amp it up, basically. Um, so yeah, that basically sums up my uh, coming out. I I don't think I really missed anything, um, but obviously any questions, Tumblr or YouTube, my personal channel and my Tumblr will be down there somewhere. Um, so yeah, I look forward to seeing everyone next week. Bye-bye.